Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to create the Linux virtual machine using the Azure portal. So I have logged into the Azure portal and uh, you can navigate to the virtual machines. And uh, from here, you can click on create and uh, choose Azure virtual machine. Okay, here you can select the uh, subscription and then you have to select the resource group. So if you do not have any resource group already, you can create a new one. Or if you want to deploy it in a new resource group, you can create a new name. Okay, and uh, here you can enter the virtual machine name. And uh, next, you can select the region and then availability option. So I'm going to select no infrastructure redundancy required. And uh, I'm going to select the Ubuntu server 22.04. Okay, and uh, size standard B1S which is one vCPU and one gig memory. So you'll be charged 642 per month. And here, uh, authentication type, you can select either SSH public key or password. So I'm going to choose password and uh, enter the username. and enter the password and confirm password and under inbound port rules you can allow port 22 for ssh and uh, click next for disk and here uh, image default will be 30 gig for the os and uh, you can choose the os disk type so I'm going to select the uh, standard HDD. And if you want to add any data disk, you can add it here. And next, networking. And here you can create the virtual network subnet and uh, the public IP. So if you have already uh, created any VNet, then you can choose one. Otherwise, uh, you can just create a new one. And then you can choose the uh, public inbound ports, the allow select ports, which is SSH22. If you want to allow any other ports, for example, HTTP or HTTPS, you can choose it here. And uh, here, uh, delete public IP and NIC when VM is deleted. I'm just going to enable that and click next. I'm just going with the default option. And review plus create. So let's wait for this validation to complete. Okay, validation passed. You can verify the details here and then click on create. Okay, let's wait for the uh, initialization deployment and uh, once it is completed, then we can SSH to the Linux virtual machine. Okay, deployment is in progress. Okay, so the deployment is complete. You can click here, go to resource, and here you can see uh, the VM details. And uh, we have the public IP address, so using which we can SSH to this VM. And you can go to the networking, 
and uh, for the NSG, you need to allow the port 22 for SSH. Otherwise, you will not be able to SSH to this VM. So we can connect using this public IP address. So let me copy this. OK, using any uh, terminal, you can SSH to the VM. So I'm using Putty and you can enter the IP address. And I'm going to log in as a user which I have created. OK, now. I have logged into the Linux VM that I have deployed in the Azure. Okay, you can become a root and then you can update using apt update command. And you can upgrade if there is any patches available. Okay, so 30 packages can be upgraded using apt upgrade. We can run the, we can just install the available packages. OK, so that's it in this video. So once you have done the uh, lab, you can just go ahead and uh, delete all the resources. So instead of deleting uh, one by one, you can just go to the resource group and just select the uh, resource group that has all the resources and you can just click. Delete resource group, which will delete everything. Okay, so that's it in this video and I'll see you in the next. Thank you.